Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make foaming shower oil and body oil. The foaming shower oil produces a fluffy cloud of cleansing and moisturizing suds. And the body oil sprays a mist of moisturizing and scented oil. The supplies to use will be linked in the description, but you will need a foaming pump bottle and liquid oil. You can use whichever oil that you want. It doesn't matter as long as it's liquid. And you'll also need a liquid surfactant. You can use Castile soap or a cocoa betaine or a glucoside, or you could even just use whatever shower gel that you have. Fragrance is optional, but it is recommended. You'll also need water. However, water may be substituted for witch hazel. I tested many ingredients and recipes, and I have the top two for you, plus two shower gel recipes. This is a thick shower gel, so add double the amount of water in order to make the best foam. A great rule of thumb is the thicker the soap, the more water that you'll have to add. This is a cheap shower gel and very thin, so it only required the same amount of water to make foam. This was a requested tutorial, so shout out to Yasmine Torres. She requested shower gel and body oil, so not exact, but close enough. If you'd like to request a specific project, please go to the community tab and comment below. Cocoa Batane and Castile Soap have the exact same recipe and they make the exact same beautiful fluffy foam. The only difference is that Cocoa Batane produces a bit more suds. I am using sweet almond oil for all of these recipes. Coco glucoside and decal glucoside have the same recipe and they both produce the same result. This foaming shower oil is lovely, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be more of an oily oil but it's more like a cleansing oil. So I made this luxurious body oil to go with the foaming shower oil. The oils used are wonderful for skin, are highly recommended, and are some of the top rated oils on the market. I have to say I'm very proud of this oil blend because it moisturizes without making skin greasy or oily. It is wonderful. Before pumping, be sure to give the bottle a good shake. The thin shower gel produced better foam than the thick shower gel. Although the recipes produced varying styles of foam, they all did the same thing, which is cleansing and moisturizing skin. Cocoa Batane produced the best foam and the best suds. Use the body oil as a shower oil in the tub when you're wet or as a body oil after a bath when you're dry. Either way, you will love this stuff. It moisturizes your skin and it does not leave it oily or greasy. Five minutes after rubbing it in my skin, there wasn't any residue or anything. Just moisturized, hydrated, and vanilla scented skin. I'm not a big fan of lotions or greasy body products, but 100% I am definitely a fan of this.
The foaming shower oil also makes great shaving foam. After shaving, I applied shower oil and then continued with my bath. The water did not diminish the oil at all. Thanks for joining me. If you're interested in this project, refer to the description for helpful tips and the supply list. Subscribe now for more creative bath inspiration. Connect with me anytime. I've linked my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.